not allow the spirit of abortion to enter our city here in Los Angeles. We've been coming out in these 40 days of prayer and it has now been evolving and the Holy Spirit has been guiding us and leading us into now a full-time year-round presence. Here, paper with the official headline, Abortion Clinic closes doors in Las Cruces. We're working to unite the whole borderland region and continue to grow and work together and build our movement. I think that we can do this together. Amen? St. Louis, Missouri. We're here to learn about this amazing internship program and see what we can take home to El Paso. Everything since we first got started has been a countdown to this moment. This has been part of our strategic plan. To get to this point is to launch this program. I've always been interested in joining the pro-life movement. I came out to pray for the first time I saw the clinic and I saw women going in and going out and it had a very big impression on me to see the reality of abortion up close and not just as an issue that I see on paper or here in the news. I was really enthusiastic about being able to join the movement and um, be out here with an organized effort instead of just being out here on my own not knowing what I was doing. I've always prayed to end abortion and things like that but I've never really had an opportunity to actually get out there and do something about it. I'm really passionate about helping women and their babies because I've been in the same situation as them where I've had unexpected pregnancies and been scared and unsure what to do. I volunteered uh, with sidewalk counseling before but I've never really been as effective as I am now and having this job enabled me to be out here every day and get information to women. The resources that we tell them about here, the pro-life pregnancy clinics, are the same places that were able to help me. One of the things that is surprising is basically just the types of interactions you have, because you're not just interacting with the moms, you're interacting with the fathers and the workers as well, and just being a positive influence in their lives. So the main doctor here is Dr. Francia. Here at the clinic, he is mainly an abortionist. I just learned through this internship that he was one of the top high-risk doctors. I was talking with my mom and my mom was like, oh yeah, as a matter of fact, like he delivered you. I went into shock. I feel like I need to be there to save his soul. But to be there for these women, I've seen the pain that they go through. A lot of them know that they're doing wrong and it's just being out here for them to help them to change their mind and give them the services that they need and to be able to save their child, be able to make a good decision for themselves. Being out here on the sidewalk has definitely just created in me a deeper desire to see abortion ended just because I've seen a lot of people and I've heard a lot of stories. I've definitely had to come out of my shell a lot. Good morning. This girl and her boyfriend, they pulled in and I gave them the information about Guiding Star right down the road. See, it was my first week in the internship. And I was trying to talk to this lady. A woman came out and she was crying and she told me that they were bullying her into getting an abortion. It's like the third week I was out here um, and we had this couple that came in and I handed her a pamphlet. Did you already get one of our coupons? And they were very grateful that they were able to get to Guiding Star where they could actually be given other options other than abortion. It's definitely worth it when you when you refer someone and you find out that they end up deciding to keep their baby and she's like. I guess my presence being out here touched her heart that she decided to keep the baby. The lady ended up choosing to keep her baby and her and her boyfriend were very excited. They decided to keep their baby <laughs> and it just, I can't describe that feeling. It just really touched my heart. I had to keep from crying in front of her. Being out here on the sidewalk has been, I would say transformative in ways that I can't even begin to really start um, comprehending at this point. The biggest takeaway that I've had from having the opportunity to do this internship is not simply just gaining experience in the pro-life movement and sidewalk outreach, but more the birth of a newfound passion and desire to make this a commitment for the rest of my life. This experience has really opened the doors for me with ministry in the future. It's definitely um, equipped me in ways that I didn't realize I was lacking in. <laughs> a lot of the people I see out here at college students just like me, and I figure if I'm not there to help them, then who will be? So even in the days when it's hard, I just stay out here and I keep coming because I'm doing it for them and hopefully to save the, the young babies too.
there are women who are scared and feel like they have no other option and they'll come up here. Nothing stops them. Not holidays, not the weather. We're, we're the last line of defense for these children and um, if we're not going to do it, who else is going to do it? If not, these women will not be given the other options and they need, we need people out here to help redirect them and be the face of Christ to them. Having the Holy Spirit within you is really what guides us. I always thought before, like, well, what can I do that's rewarding to God? Well, nothing more rewarding than giving God a, a saved child, so... <laughs> The more people that get involved, the sooner we get this place shut down and the other clinics as well. And now we've been dealt a blow with the news that the, the nation's largest abortion corporation is coming into our borderland region. We believe in the dignity of every human being. We believe that human life is a gift from God. From the moment it comes into being to the moment that God calls us home, Amen. we here and until we build a society that is free of violence, free of threats against the innocent, we will not be a healthy, holy society. We have to live this faith. It has to come into action in our life. But we know that with God, all things are possible. We know that God has been preparing us for the moment that each one of us is called for such a time as this to respond to this crisis with love, to respond with the joy of Jesus Christ. This is the solution. Christ is the solution that a united body of Christ is the answer. A coalition for life is the answer. And you have an opportunity to be a part of it.